What about the refineries? Because they seem to be the troublesome part of your business. They haven't been working largely, and uh, each government comes and makes the same promises, will fix it. I remember you were saying it with gusto, yes. but is any of the refineries fixed now? Today, none of them is running, and it was a business decision that we took uh, in 2018. Even before I took over as a GMD, it was very, very obvious that you cannot continue to operate those refineries uh, economically and commercially. When you put in, just in context, when you put in $100 crude oil, you produce $70 product. That means you are literally losing 30% of this value because of the inefficiencies that are in the system. And uh, because of the way over the years, you know, the refinery, rehabilitation, and turnaround maintenance were literally mismanaged. Let's call it what, what it is. And of course, that happened because of a number of issues. Uh, uh, LMPC losing control of the processes. The fact that we have to resort to the Federation to find financing for the rehabilitation of these refineries. And the very fact that you know, decision making are very, very difficult because uh, you have to subject it to so many other processes that can cause delays that you can't explain. Let me just uh, give you an example. When you have to go through the normal regulatory process of getting even a contractor in sight, you can take a minimum of 18 months to achieve this when you follow all regular process. But when you have a, an unbundled company which can make business decisions, there are some decisions that you can actually make in three months instead of 18 months. So the combination of those bad decisions and the process that we have led, led us to the station where the refinery, at a point in time, it became uh, completely un unmanageable.